Have you heard about mysterious biblical artifacts hidden all over the world? Prepare to travel through the sands of time as you uncover the mysterious stories and deep meanings contained in some of the world's most fascinating artifacts, connecting us to the divine tapestry of the past. Dead Sea Scrolls. Picture this, a shepherd, wandering the cliffs above the Dead Sea, stumbles upon a hidden cave. Within it, a treasure far greater than gold, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Hidden for two millennia, these ancient parchments offer a window into the past. They unveil the diverse beliefs of Jewish groups during the Second Temple period, a crucible of religious thought that profoundly influenced the emerging Christian faith. Today, their faded letters whisper tales of ancient laws, prayers, and mystical visions, granting us precious insights into biblical history. James Ossuary Now imagine a small, humble box of limestone. This is the James Ossuary, claimed to be the final resting place of James, the brother of Jesus. This artifact sparked heated debates within the scholarly world over its inscription's authenticity. If genuine, it would be the earliest mention of Jesus Christ outside the Bible. This humble box of bones, then, serves as a powerful reminder of the ongoing quest to unravel historical truth from the shrouds of time. Pilate Stone Next, let us travel to the heart of the ancient Roman Empire. Here, we find the Pilate Stone, a crucial piece of the biblical historical puzzle. This chiseled proclamation from Pontius Pilate himself provides rare, tangible evidence of this biblical figure's existence. As we trace the carved letters with our eyes, we connect with the man who, as Scripture tells us, presided over Jesus' trial. Shroud of Turin Our journey now takes us to a quiet chapel in Turin, Italy, home to a simple length of cloth. The Shroud of Turin a ghostly image of a crucified man is imprinted on the fabric, stirring heartfelt devotion and ardent scientific curiosity alike. Is this the actual burial cloth of Jesus Christ? The debate continues, but the enduring allure of the shroud reminds us that faith often dwells within the enigmas of the heart, rather than the certainties of the mind. The Ark of the Covenant Finally, we enter the realm of the unseen, the lost Ark of the Covenant. While it eludes our search, its legend shines brightly. As we envision this ornate chest containing the Ten Commandments, we are drawn into the very heart of the biblical narrative. Where could it be, hidden beneath a distant hill or tucked away in a forgotten temple? The mystery persists, echoing the enduring quest of humanity for divine connection and understanding. The Moabite Stone Imagine an ancient stone standing tall in the desert, its surface etched with lines of forgotten script. This is the Moabite Stone, also known as the Mesha Stele. This black basalt stone narrates the triumphs of King Mesha of Moab, offering a perspective parallel to the biblical narrative found in the Book of Kings. As we delve into its worn script, we see history from a different angle, reminding us that every story has more than one side. The Cyrus Cylinder Now travel with me to the heart of ancient Persia. In our hands we hold a small clay cylinder, not much larger than a corn cob. Yet the Cyrus Cylinder, named after the Persian king Cyrus the Great, holds a declaration of monumental importance. Its cuneiform script pronounces religious freedom to the captives in Babylon, enabling the Israelites' return to Jerusalem. The tale etched into this unassuming artifact highlights a moment of hope and liberation that resonates deeply within the Jewish narrative, Nag Hammadi Library. Our next stop takes us to the shores of the Nile in Upper Egypt. Here, a jar filled with papyrus scrolls known as the Nag Hammadi Library, was unearthed. These Gnostic texts, contemporaries of the New Testament, provide us with alternative Christian thoughts and doctrines that didn't make it into the canonical Bible. As we leaf through their pages, we venture into the broader landscape of early Christian thought, inviting us to ponder the depth and diversity of religious understanding. Caiaphas Ossuary. Finally, we return to Jerusalem. Beneath the city's bustling streets, the Caiaphas Oshuri was discovered, a beautifully adorned limestone chest that once held the bones of the high priest Caiaphas. According to the Gospels, Caiaphas played a critical role in the trial of Jesus. As we trace the ornate carvings on this burial box, we touch a tangible link to the man who, unknowingly, helped shape the course of Christian history. Hezekiah's seal, the Bulla of Hezekiah. From the ancient city of David, we take a look at a tiny but significant artifact the Bulla of Hezekiah. This clay seal impression bears the name of Hezekiah, a biblical king of Judah, 
bringing us closer to the time of the kings. It whispers tales of royal decrees, political intrigue, and ancient traditions of the biblical era. In conclusion, these notable artifacts serve as physical bridges to our biblical past, shedding light on narratives that have been shaping humanity for millennia. Each artifact, whether it's the Ark of the Covenant symbolizing God's divine presence, the Shroud of Turin stirring debates about faith and science, the Dead Sea Scrolls enhancing our understanding of biblical texts, or the Pilot Stone confirming historical figures, they all infuse our faith journeys with tangible connections to the stories we've embraced. The moral drawn from exploring these artifacts lies in the understanding that our faith is not solely based on physical proof or ancient relics, but rather in the divine teachings these items represent. Just as these artifacts have endured through centuries, the endurance of our faith should remain steadfast, guided by love, compassion, and the eternal wisdom of the divine. Our journey isn't about seeking evidence but living the teachings, continually breathing life into these ancient narratives in our daily lives.